What up, I'm Devin on deck, and today we're talking about menswear essentials for summer 2017. Welcome back to Style on Deck, where we talk about contemporary men's fashion, grooming, and everything else in between. Now, if you look around the YouTube men's fashion space, you're gonna see two groups of dudes. The super dapper, clean cut, slacks, suits type of guys, or the hardcore streetwear, hoodies, and Yeezys type of guy. However, I believe it's a whole bunch of folks out there that are like me that fits somewhere in the balance. You're not hardcore either way, but you relate to both in some instances. So, if you're feeling what I'm saying right now, then this is the spot for you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you have already subscribed, hit that little bell icon so that you get notification every time that I drop a video because I'm dropping videos, okay? I appreciate it. Now the very first category we're gonna talk about is of course my favorite footwear. And I would say low top sneakers. Now if I had to narrow it down to three, it'd be a white pair, a black pair, and a pop of color. Now they can be any material you choose to be. I'm a big fan of suede, big fan of leather. You might be able to just, you know, grab some Vans and some Converse, if that's your style, go for it. I'm gonna show you an example of my pop of color shoes. Now these are from Vince. They are an orange, and maybe the color is not coming out perfect on camera, but they're not that bright of an orange. They're like super subtle, subtle. Let's see if I can get a good close up of them. There we go, boom. So they're a nice subtle orange and they're suede and they're low top. So the reason why I'm singling out low top sneakers is because they go really well with my next category, which is cropped pants. Now, as you know, the summertime is when the temperature goes up and you want to let your skin breathe a little bit. So perfect time to wear either no show socks or no socks and let them ankles out. You can accomplish the crop pant look in three different ways. You can cuff your pants that you already have that are full length, buy pants that are purposely shorter so you don't have to cuff them. You can also accomplish the no cuff look by getting your pants tailored and getting them hemmed up a little shorter. And that'll actually probably cost you less than getting a brand new pair of pants. So yeah, when you crop those pants and you leave the little, little room in there for the ankles to breathe, it's a great summer touch to any outfit. Oh, and please, please make sure you moisturize your ankles, okay? You can't be out here talking about, yeah, I learned this from Devin on deck and I got my ankles out and they ashy or dry. Don't play yourself and don't play me, okay? If you on deck, you got lotioned ankles, all right? Pro tip, lotion them things. So the next category on this list is shorts. Your short fit is just as important as your denim fit. Now for me, I usually get my shorts right above the knee and they're like a little bit looser than I wear my jeans because I don't want them hiking up on me as I walk. That can be a problem if you make them too tight. So I wouldn't go too tight and I also wouldn't go too long beyond the knees. I would go above the knee and the highest I would go is mid thigh if you really want to go like super chub style. The three kind of shorts I would say on this list are chino shorts like these. These are chino shorts. These are actually by ASOS and they come in a pack of like two for 49 or something like that. They're super affordable and they have stretch, my friends. Stretch just like my denim does, so they're comfortable. And if you notice, they have a little cuff down here. I think that gives a nice touch to them when it comes to chino shorts. And I do my denim shorts the same way, about the same length with the same type of cuff. And yeah, you get the gesture. So you have chino shorts, denim shorts, and this last pair I would say is get a good pair of swim shorts. These are exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, these are from Uniqlo. They're the same length as the shorts that I always wear. Much looser though because there's no stretch and they're intended for swimwear, but you can still look good outside of the pool and continue to maintain your style aesthetic. But if they cost me something like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, like not expensive at all, and they got the little like, you know, the little swim net, like the little inner draws inside, yeah, all that. Now the next essential that every guy should have for the summer is a good pair of shades. Now for me personally, this was a journey because I have a really weird face when it comes to sunglasses and I just couldn't find the right ones that fit my face until I stumbled upon these beauties. Now you guys know I always rock circle frames, the ones you see me wear all the time. I got several different colors in them because I've been searching for the right type of glasses for years 
and those are my number one go-to. Now, this is a very personal thing. You gotta find ones that fit your face. If you like circle frames, if you know those are good for you or you wanna try them out, I'm gonna leave a link, you can get some for yourself. And yeah, th those are the jam for me. Now when it comes to shades, you wanna pay really close attention to material. Frames that are like tortoise, metal. Look for things that stick out to you as quality points and become an asset to your outfit and not like an outfit killer. So that's my last piece on that. Our next essential on this list is a light jacket. Now depending on where you are in the world, your summers may be hot day or night. So if this is you, ignore this part of the video. But if you are in a place where the nights may be a little colder or some days may be cooler and you would need a jacket, then you wanna make sure you lock down a few nice light jackets. It can be a denim jacket, a light bomber that like isn't lined, that's like, you know, a thinner jacket, a coach jacket. A really good example I have for me is one that I've recently got from Vince, which is almost like a trench but not a coat. It's a light, very light trench jacket, and it's very thin, double zipper, nice subtle green color. It's a good transition piece, something to just have with me, throw in the trunk, and then maybe when it gets cooler, be able to pull it out later on in the day. So, so this is gonna be my go-to for the summer, spring. But again, if I don't have an outfit that goes with a longer jacket, then I do have lightweight bombers. I do have denim jackets that I can just kind of throw on. So definitely get yourself a light jacket. Next on the list is basic tees. Now, the first place I would go to for a tee is Uniqlo, okay? They're like five bucks. They come in a plethora of colors. Super inexpensive. I believe they're like a poly cotton blend. You can wash them, dry them, and take a long time to fade. They are such resilient shirts and such good shirts. Now, if you want a shirt with more character, you want a t-shirt or a knit with more quality, then you want to go to either Topman, if you want like some texture or something to it, they're really nice textured shirts. Or you can go to Cos. Cos is spelled C-O-S, and their shirts are gonna be a little more expensive. Like as far as expensive goes, it's gonna be like Cos as the most expensive, then Topman, and then Uniqlo, okay? Uniqlo, everything fits exactly the same. Topman, you're gonna get some variation in texture and in feel, and then when it comes to Cos, you're gonna get top-notch design, different type of ribbing. You're gonna get different materials, different thickness, different cuts, different length on the sleeves, and the texture and everything else you would need. I love cost too, but they can be a little expensive sometimes, so just give you some quality tees that you can count on to look good in. Everybody needs those. Next on the list is some quality headwear. Now, I ain't talking your dad hat. I mean, for me, I do have a few dad hats, but I wear those to the gym or like when I'm kicking around the house or when I'm running to the grocery store real quick. If I'm really trying to get dressed and pull together a dope outfit, I'm not gonna throw on some metal frames, right? Some really dope sneakers, a crop pant, and a textured knit, and then throw on a dad hat. Like, I can't do that. Like, I have an elevated street minimal look I gotta have the right type of hat on too if I'm gonna wear a hat. So when it comes to buying quality headwear, you wanna look at the details. This Michael hat, for instance, is handmade here in America. You have a vegan leather strap in the back, brass enclosure, and it's a hat that you can even put on with a suit. I've seen plenty of guys put them on with suits. Another brand that does a great job with this is Publish Brand, and specifically, I love their little beanie cap. I forget what it's called, but I will link it down below. But you see right here, it has a leather strap in the back too, just like the Michael hat. You have brass hardware on there as well, or it might be nickel depending on what color you get. And it's basically just like a, a elevated beanie, and it's really cool, and I like to wear it. I like how it looks on my head, especially if I'm going to like a nighttime event and I wanna look a little more clean, little ninja status. I love putting that on. These are my two favorite hats to wear, but again, it all comes down to personal preference. I know plenty of guys that love to wear like the brimmed hats. Those are also good too. Just make sure it's elevated. Make sure the materials and the details are of quality because it's not gonna make sense to put on a full outfit that is put together and then have a hat that's just ruining it. You know what I mean? All right, well that's it for this video. I have done my part. Now it is your turn. Let me know what you think of this essentials list as well as add your own. I would love to get a dialogue going in the comments, a little two-way street action. Iron sharpening iron, I would love to learn from you. Hopefully you learn from me and we come together and just help each other dress better. I think that's what it's really all about. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, do that. I appreciate your time as always, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.